hearty welcome dear students we are seeing 12th english part 4 of life of pi from second supplementary reader written by yan mater before going to the next part we can recall what we saw in the previous part in the previous part pi took survey about the lifeboat then only he would find where the water was it was Three and a half feet deep, eight feet wide, and twenty-six feet long. So it was accommodated for maximum of thirty-two people. We can go to the next part. It seems orange is the color of survival because the whole inside of the boat and the tarpaulin and the life jackets and the life buoy and the oars and most every other significant object. A board was orange. Even the plastic headless whistles were orange. Pi told that the color of orange is the symbol of survival. Why did he say orange was the color of survival? Because the things which which saved his life were orange in color. Uh, look at the the life jackets, the life buoy, the oars. the most of the things are in orange color so he said orange was a color of survival even the headless whistles look at the third picture the headless whistles are also orange the words zimzam and panama were printed on each side of the bow in stark black roman capitals i did not grasp all these details and many more right away they came to my notice with time and as a result of necessity i would be in the direst of dire straits facing a bleak future when some small thing some detail would transform itself and appear in my mind in a new light so in the boat the two words were printed each side of the bow so what is meant by bow bow means front side of the boat so in the front side of the boat it was printed zimsum and panama in stark black roman capitals so it was in uh, printed roman letter in a black black means uh, uh, capital okay and he did not uh, uh, notice all this detail for the past 3 days because it was not necessary to him but in this uh, present time he wanted to know where the water was so here they have given grasp grasp means understand but here noticed he did not notice he did not care about it okay they came to my notice with time and as a a result of necessity so here it was his necessity to find water so he wanted to know all these details and i would be in the direst of dire straits facing a bleak future when some small thing some detail would transform itself and appear in my mind in a new light so uh, uh, we can think when we are in a difficult uh, situation or when we are in struggle some things will help us even at this time even a small thing will give us a brightness a confident you know the same thing here dire stuff dire straits means extremely danger and uh, facing a bleak future it's a bleak means hopeless so he already he was in extreme danger and he had a hopeless life so at this time water was his life so he wanted to drink he was dried because of not drinking water so in this time even the small things gave him confident gave him a light a new light means a new life it would no longer be the small thing it was before but the most important thing in the world that the thing that would save my life so I, he said that before that this all things was nothing but now even a small thing were the most important to his life which are which were saved his life which were useful to save his life so this happened time and again so how true it is that necessity is the mother of invention how very true so here he says a proverb 
necessity is the mother of invention so before that he he, he did not want to find out all these details but now he wanted to find out because he wanted to find out the water we can uh, take uh, example of our own life now we are in the corona quarantine but at the same time the peop uh, the physicians and scientists are working to invent medicine for corona so this is the example necessity is the mother of invention how very true it is and what if the supplies were at the bow beneath the tarpaulin i turned and crawled back i felt like a dried up lizard i pushed down on, on the tarpaulin it was totally stretched if i unrolled it i would give myself access to what supplies might be stored below but that mean creating an opening on to richard parker's den okay and what if the supplies were at the bow beneath the tarpaulin so he thought whether uh any supplies like food or uh, food and water uh, would be there beneath the tarpaulin and uh, he thought it can be the food and water could be under the tarpaulin and he turned and crawled back actually he traveled uh, he moved to the middle of the boat again he wanted to uh, come back to the front that is the bow the front side of the boat so he he crawled back to the bow and he felt like a dried out lizard what is meant by dried out lizard so it means the lizard which is tired without food and water food or food or water that is dried out lizard so he compared himself with dried out lizard and he pushed it down on, on the tarpaulin to push it down means adi konjam munadi nagarndu varudhu it was totally stretched totally means tightly stretched nalla nalla tight ah kattapettirukirathu Uh, if he unrolled it it would uh, it would really uh, give him any uh, access whether is there any supplies and he could have known the about the stored things below him but that mean creating an opening onto richard parker's den actually richard parker did not come out of that uh, den it was lying beneath the tarpaulin but pi was about the tarpaulin okay so if he uh, had given any small hole in the uh, tarpaulin near the bow it would make it would, uh, make the way to richard parker there was no question thirst pushed me on i unrolled it a little immediately i was rewarded the bow was like the stun it had an end bench and upon it just a few inches from the stem a hasp glittered like a diamond there was the outline of a lid my heart began to pound i unrolled the tarpaulin further i peeked under the lid was shaped like a rounded out triangle three feet wide and two feet deep at that moment i perceived an orange moss i jerked my head back but the orange wasn't moving and didn't look right I looked again it wasn't a tiger it was a life jacket there were a number of life jackets at the back of Richard Parker's den he, he knew very well that if he if he had open, made a open in the bow uh, that uh, Richard Parker would have come uh, through that way and he would uh, it would uh, kill him even he knew about this all without any question he pushed on so push on means continue moving forward so he moved for uh, he continued to move forward because of his thirsty so he unrolled it a little where in the uh, in the end in the end he unrolled the tarpaulin a little immediately he felt rewarded because what he wanted to know he saw that the bow was like the stun the bow was like the stun so what is meant by stun it is the end of the boat bow means beginning of the boat uh, front part of the boat and stun means back side of the boat so both are like same so it had an end bench and upon it just a few inches from the stem a hasp glittered like a diamond so a hasp 
has been fastener for a door so there was and there was something and he saw a fastener has means a fastener for a door tal pal nu solluvom he saw something like a, a box there so he felt happy and upon it just a few inches from stem and there was the outline of a lid the upon that there was a outline outline of the lid lid means moody so his heart began to pound pound means uh, his heart began to beat hardly beat hardly this is not because of fear this is because of happiness okay and he unrolled the tarpaulin further and he peeked under he peeked under so peeked means uh, took a brief look அங்க என்ன இருக்கு அப்படின்னு தேடுறது அது இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் தேடி பார்க்குறாரு த லிட் வாஸ் ஷேப் லைக் அ ரவுண்டட் அப் ட்ரையாங்கிள் த்ரீ ஃபீட் வயர்ட் அண்ட் டூ ஃபீட் டீப் ஸோ த லிட் வாஸ் இன் த ஷேப் ஆஃப் ட்ரையாங்கிள் ரவுண்டட் ட்ரையாங்கிள் அண்ட் இட் வாஸ் த்ரீ ஃபீட் வயர்ட் அண்ட் டூ ஃபீட் டீப் அட் தட் மோமெண்ட் ஹி பர்சிவ்ட் அண்ட் ஆரஞ்சு மாஸ் பர்சிவ்ட் மீன்ஸ் டிடெக்டட் பை சென்ஸ் ஹி லுக்ட் ஹி ஹக்கினைசிம் ஹி Uh, saw an orange mass orange mass means the uh, the things uh, a lot a mass means nareya anga irundha and athane porukkalum eppadi orange color la irukku so immediately he jerked back his head jerked back means pulled his head back immediately because he got fear whether it would be richard parker but after he understood that it was not uh, richard parker it was a, a life jacket and there were number of life jackets at the back of uh, richard parker's den so what is meant by den den is nothing but it is the habitation of animal adavadu animal la vaalakudiya edathukku per than den so there richard paka was living there was lying there so he uh, he said that it was it was the den of richard paka okay a shiver went through my body between the life jackets partially as if through some leaves i had my first unambiguous clear headed glimpse of richard paka so and immediately he shivered okay adi avanukku vandu odambu adi nadungiruchu yeah because um between the life jacket partially he saw the first time the unambiguous clear glimpse of richard parker so richard parker ipo da first time clear ah paakran but not the whole body just he saw the haunches of tiger haunches of richard parker what is meant by haunch haunch means back side of the tiger just he saw the back side of the tiger and tawny striped and simply enormous so what is meant by tawny that is the color of the tiger brown is orange color so what is the color of uh, richard parker the richard parker was brownish orange color so that is tawny and it was striped simply enormous enormous means extraordinary large in size he was facing the stern lying flat on his stomach he was still except for the breathing motion of his sides just just pai was looking through the small hole of the bow and still it was motionless which which one richard paka was motionless only his breath only his except his breath and uh, richard paka blinked with disbelief and how close he was now he realized that how close he was to richard paka just there were only uh, two feet and it is easy to touch uh, richard parker so he thought himself that stretching i could have pinched his bottom so he thought that uh, if he stretched stretch remains move a little bit move his body a little bit that is stretching so our not body konjam move panana enna panuvom and the tiger killilo killilo mudiyum but he should not do like that and between us there was nothing but a thin tarpaulin easily got round if he had done like that it would easily got him round because it uh, uh, above the richard parker it was only a thin tarpaulin thin tarpaulin means romba melliya and the tarpaulin god preserve me no supplication was ever more passionate yet more gently carried by the breath i lay absolutely motionless i had to have water 
I brought my hand down and quietly undid the hasp. I pulled on the lid. It opened onto a locker. I looked down between my legs. I thought I would faint for joy. The open locker glistened with shiny new things. Oh, the delight of the manufactured good, the man-made device, the created thing. The moment of material revelation brought an inten uh, intensity of pleasure, a head mix of hope, surprise, disbelief, thrill, gratitude, all crushed into one unequaled in my life by any Christmas, birthday, wedding, Diwali or other gift giving occasion i was positively giddy with happiness so he prayed with god and he thought the only thing is the supplication what is meant by supplication supplication means a humble request or prayer humble prayer preserve means save so he he prayed to the god god save me no supplication was ever more passionate yet more gently carried by the breath நம்ம எவ்வளோ தான் வந்து நல்ல நல்லபடியாக வாழ்ந்தாலும் நம்ம வாழ்க்கை நல்லபடியாக போனாலும் பட் ஹம்பிள் ரிக்வஸ்ட் டு த காட் வாஸ் எவர் மோர் பேஷனேட் பேஷனேட் மீன்ஸ் எக்ஸ் எக்ஸ் எக்ஸ்ப்ரெஸிங் ஸ்ட்ராங் இமோஷன் ஹியர் ஹி எக்ஸ்ப்ரெஸ்ட் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ராங் இமோஷன் டு த காட் பிகாஸ் ஹி லேட் அப்சல்யூட்லி மோஷன்லெஸ் ஹி வாண்டட் டு ஹாவ் வாட்டர் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் இட் வாஸ் தேர் Okay, and he brought his uh, hand down and quickly undid the hasp. So already I told you what is meant by hasp. Hasp means the fastener for the door. Thalpal. Thalpal. Just he undid the hasp and pulled on the lid. Just he tried to pull down, pull down it. Uh, open my door. Um, uh, he opened, opened onto a locker. and he looked down between his leg he thought it would make faint because of joy because of happiness and the night la avar kudi santoshame enna avar maikatha varavachirumo appdi solle because he saw something there what he expected the open locker glistened with shiny new things who oh, the delight of the manufactured good here manufactured good means thing good means thing the man made device the created thing what he expected was the food and water so he saw and he saw that he saw his expectation and he he told that uh, it was man made device and created thing that moment of material revelation brought an intensity of pleasure so it gave him um, intensity of extreme pleasure extreme happiness and he had a, a hidden mix of hope actually he he had already lost his hope but here he had a mixture of hope whether he would be alive or he, he would he would be died surprise disbelief thrill gratitude all crushed surprise you know very well the meaning for the surprise uh, for the word surprise disbelief thrill gratitude what is meant by gratitude nandri unarvu thanks giving all crushed into one unequaled in my life so this all things uh, now he felt himself that this is the best gift gift of his life comparing with all other gift giving uh, occasion like christmas birthday wedding diwali or any other functions any other celebration okay so he compared in this moment which he saw there what what did he see there he saw water there so he was positively giddy with happiness what is meant by giddy causing a whirling sensation abbiye santoshathil abbiye thala suthi poran solluvomla that is so he was positively giddy with happiness my eyes immediately fell upon what i was looking for whether in a bottle a tin can or a carton water is unmistakably packaged on this lifeboat the wine of life was served in whole golden cans that fit nicely in the hand drinking water said the vintage label in black letters hp food limited where the vintners 500 ml were the contents there were stacks of these cans too many to count at a glance as soon as he saw that uh, thing immediately he uh, fell up he had uh, fallen upon because he was looking something there that was water 
uh, whether actually he thought whether it was bottle a tin can or a cotton so cotton means atta petti which was uh, which was made of uh, uh, cardboard water is un unmistakably packaged so he saw something there in a bottle or it can be a bottle a tin can or a carton but unmistakably water was packaged there and this life boat the wine of life was served wine of life they have given the word wine of life means destiny of his life or fate of his life so destiny of his life was the pale golden cans that fit nicely in the hand so it looked very nice it was fit actually uh, it was uh, easy to hold in his hand that is fit nicely in the hand drinking water said the vintage label vintage label so vintage label vintage means old age ancient here we can say the labels were old and it was Uh, pasted as drinking water you can see uh, the picture uh, you can see this in the picture so drinking water in a small cans okay and, and and also it was printed as hp foods limited where the vintners the vintners means the people those who sell uh, wine okay so they have pasted they have printed hp foods limited of their company and all the bottles were filled with 500 ml water and there were many to count at a glance so it means that there were many bottles with a shaking hand i reached down and picked one up it was cool to the touch and heavy i shook it the bubble of air inside made a dull glub 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 sound i was about to be delivered from my hellish thirst my pulse raised at the thought i only had to open the can i paused how did i do that he took the water can and he shook the water can in his hand and he reached down and uh, picked one and uh, shake and uh, shook it up so past tense of shake is shook okay so it was cool to touch and heavy why the bottle uh, bottles were cool because it was ocean we know very well that oceans are cold you know so the water the water bottles were cold and at the same time it was uh, it was heavy so he shook it when he sh when he shook the bottles it made glub glub sound inside the water because of the bubbles came okay. and he was about to deliver his hellish thirst here he has given the word hellish thirst hellish thirst means naraga vedanayaga irunda avanude daagam that is hellish thirst now it is going to be over ipo adu avana vittu poga pogudhu so it was about to be delivered from his uh, my hellish thirst my pulse raised at the thought i only had to open the can i paused how do i do that so his pulse raised at the thought uh, his pulse avanudaya pulse vandu ipo nenak avanukku ulla or thought yerpadudhu idu eppadi open pandradhu how to open this actually uh, he had to open the can because uh, no human is that except him so he had to open this so he paused for a while and he he asked how would i do that eppadi adana open pannuve i had a can surely i had a can opener i looked in the locker there was a great quantity of things i rummaged about i was losing patience hacking expectation had run its fruitful course had to drink now or i would die i couldn't find the desired instrument but there was no time for useless distress action was needed could i prise it open with my finger nails i tried i couldn't my teeth it wasn't worth trying i looked over the gunnel the tarpaulin hooks shot blunt solid i kneeled on the bench and leaned over he found the water can oh, as water cans were there the opener could be there he uh, he surely knew about this but he wanted to find where it was
he looked in the locker there were a great quantity of things many number of uh, things and rummaged about it what is meant by rummaged unsystematically he searched thoroughly and unsystematically angu angu ma theerra because he was in such condition okay and he was losing patience he couldn't find the opener of the water can uh he wa- he was not able to find it he was losing his passion avaru amaidiya elandite irundha aching expectation had run its fruitful course for a long time he was expecting for this uh, water but he was not able to open it so it should be ended with good it sh- it should have a good end idu nalla nalla padiya da enna pannanum poi mudiyanum oru sandoshamana mudiva da idukku irukkanum that is fruitful cause and he had to drink now otherwise he would be died okay so he wanted to find desired instrument desired in- instrument means at least any other instrument to open the water bottle but there was nothing under under the same time he thought to himself that it was useless distress so useless distress what is meant to be distress veru padairadu so veru padairadu abbinga thana ipodike useless because we were, uh, he would lose his patience so action was needed again he he started to find it could i prize it to open with my finger nails so he alternatively thought uh, alternately thought how to open he tried to open the water bottle with his finger nails but he, uh, he couldn't do this and and he try uh, he thought to himself that his teeth was not worth worrying so he looked over the gunnel so what is meant by gunnel whale at the top side of the boat so here you can see the uh, the top side top edge of the boat the top edge of the boat the white color you know so that is uh, gunnel so he looked at the gunnel whether is there any uh, thing to open the tarpaulin hooks shot blunt solid i kneeled on the bench and leaned over finally he found a tarpaulin hook it was not very sharp actually it is sharp but blunt konja mottaya irukirathu that is blunt and solid solid means strong so immediately he knelt down on the bench and leaned over so adu mela saanjirran holding the can with both my hands i sharply brought it up against a hook and good dint i did it again another dint next to the first by dint of dinting i managed the trick a pail of water appeared i licked it off i turned the can and banged the opposite side of the top against the hook to make another hole i woke up like a fiend i made a larger hole i sat back on the gunnel i held the can up to my face i opened my mouth i tilted the can he was holding the water bottle uh, in both of his hands and sharply he brought it to the hook against the hook he found a thing there wow what did he find he find the hook of the tarpaulin so he bent there and brought the water bottle against the hook and dint it what is meant by dint dint means hit idithal idithal nadu modal so he uh, dint ala idikira which one the water bottle he dint the bottle with uh, in the hook okay and he he did it again and again uh, again and again he dint it here they have given by dint of dinting by dint of dinting means continuously he dint it he, he hit the water bottle in the hook and finally it gave a small open with this small open he found a pail of water a, a small drop uh, drop of water so he compared the small drop of water with pail so here this is very valuable am i right so comparing with uh, pail here the water is very valuable to pi so he compared the small drop of water with pail and he licked it off nakra and the water konjam da vandirukku again he turned to uh, turn the can and banged the opposite side of the uh, top against 
the hook to make another hole already there was a small hole but he couldn't get much water through that uh, hole so again he turned to the hook and banged it banged it means break it strike it violently so he striked the bottle opposite side of the hole with the hook with the uh, tarpaulin hook he uh, banged that bottle like a fiend what is meant by fiend devil and the other devil mari enna panna maatukku open panna mudiyilaye nu solli adikira romba vegama and it made a larger hole finally it opened so he sat back on the gunnel what is meant by gunnel i told you uh, in the previous picture that is top edge of the boat okay and he held the he held the can up to his face and opened his mouth and tilted the can so tilted the can means just he raised raised this uh, bottle uh, in an unsteady manner and uh, uh, poured this water in his mouth students we can see the remaining part of the lesson in the next part thank you